I don't know about you, but I've really struggled with giving God control in certain areas of my life. I wrestle with the idea of my Heavenly Father knowing what is best for me, so I keep things close. I've even gone as far as trying to force something to happen because I'm worried that God doesn't know what is best for me, that He doesn't have something better planned. I've realized that my worrying comes from not wanting to give God control because I think I know better, which then leads to unbelief. Well, in Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34, Jesus is telling us not to worry. In fact, he says it three times. Don't worry. Great. I guess that's it. I'll just stop worrying. Done. Man, I wish it was that easy, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work like that. But what I love about this passage is that Jesus tells us the reason that we shouldn't worry is that we are so important to God and he loves us so much that he will provide what we need. And then he goes on to tell us in verse 33 what to do when we worry. We are to seek his kingdom and his righteousness. You know, over the last couple of weeks, as I've read and prayed about this passage, I was really drawn to this verse and what it looks like in my own life. I want to point out that in these verses, worry means to obsess or agonize. So when we get to a place where we recognize our worry is turning into an obsession that we agonize over, what does it look like to seek his kingdom and righteousness and turn to him for help? There are a couple of things that have helped me that I want to share with you. First, I look at how much time I'm spending with God and in his word. And not just reading it, but letting it soak into my heart and my mind. Reading it and meditating on it. Pausing and asking God to show me how to apply the scripture to my life. Second, I repeat scripture or truths about God to myself. One that I've been play- replaying in my mind lately is God is sovereign and his plan is perfect. It's so easy to get swept away with the world and forget the truths that are found in scripture. I found that repeating truths that combat the lies I tell myself can be extremely helpful. You know, I don't live this out perfectly and there are times that I still agonize about certain things in my life and let the worry spiral around in my mind. But when I seek God, read his word and repeat his truths, I can inevitably feel the worry lift and a sense of peace take its place. And that's my prayer for you, that you would turn your eyes to him and allow him to replace the worry with his peace. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.